All right, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. My throat, I'm sick. But I'm here to play the best game ever made right here. Skylight Free Range 2 Guacajuan. Guacamole. I don't know how it's produced. This game looks awful. This game looks so bad. I it paid $14.99 for it. I have a feeling Dragon Entertainment is making is making a pretty good profit off that one purchase. I'm not sure how many other people have bought this game, but it was uh, originally released on Vita, and it was released on PS4 yesterday, January 10th, 2017. All right, well, I don't really know what to expect. I know it's an RPG, and I know it's not very good. <clears throat> I did briefly look at a review on Metacritic. It looked like there was one review for it from uh, Gaming Age. They gave it a zero out of a hundred. <laughs> so I don't know what to expect with this this guy here. Um, just bad. I'm gonna expect bad. I'm probably gonna get bad. That's fine. Uh, so let's get right into. <clears throat> I apologize if if I'm not doing too well in this game. I have a feeling this. <clears throat> Although I'm familiar with uh, role-playing games, I just have a feeling this is going to be a very confusing game with not without much instruction. Let's see. Let's start the game. Uh, normal difficulty, impossible difficulty. There's no other difficulty options. Yeah, I'm definitely going with normal. How did the fighting in Manitoba in 2041? By the way, in case you didn't know, this is uh, this game takes place in Canada, in Nova Scotia. All right, let's see. What's, okay, shadow group known as the Severn Ghosts formed an alliance with the Liches to stop the savage NDC. This is all gibberish. I don't understand anything. From attacking innocents in Manitoba, ghost leader Derek Zare, a man who believes strongly in the Alliance, was betrayed as the Liches outed Severin to the public. Blamed for their last administration's crimes, the ghosts became national fugitives, but still wanted to end the fighting. The ghosts aided the military sentinels in victory over the Liches, but Derek suffered an overdose of illusion, symbiote, and combat, and is now a fugitive in a deteriorating mental state. As if the Sentinels won, or if Severin won. I don't know if I'm going to read all these. NDC. Um, <laughs> if you haven't noticed at the bottom of the screen, I have a message for you all. It says, welcome to bad game, because that's what you're getting into watching this. But not a very good game. Um, gosh, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Sentinels 1, just the first one, I don't know. The year is 2048. You are a leader of a group called the Gokjuane, an organization unknown to the public of Nova Scotia. The Gokjuane's goal is to take down the Cult of Symbiote, a regulation group for the versatile organism-altering biotechnology known as Skylight Symbiote. The cult of the symbiote's iron grip had slowly taken over Prince Edward Island, as well as New Brunswick, after the cult started a bloody civil war there in 2045. Here's Dama. There you go, everybody. This is one of my cats. Dama. Say hi, Dama. You have just returned from dismantling the cult's influence in Newfoundland and must now meet up with the rest of the Gokjuane to stop the cult in Nova Scotia. All right. First name, um, Prawn. His first name is Prawn. And 
his last name. Dama. My cat's name. Kodama. Prandama. All right. Gender. Male. Height. Ooh. Ah. I'm just going to go with about average. Muscles. I'm going to make him freaking huge. That doesn't even look like muscle. Whatever. Wait. <laughs> yeah. That's a beer belly. It looks really bad. Look at this. Some sharp love handles he's got, though. I don't know. I'll just go with like an average build. Ear type. Or eye type, I don't know. I'm tripping on. I don't know. Jaw. Give him a big jaw. I'm gonna make him pasty. He's Canadian. I don't know how that makes sense, but. Alright, bald. Uh, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna go with this hair. Looks kinda weird. Hair color. Oh. Uh. Nice, that's the cool looking hair. That's some cool hair. I like that extremely even cut. I'm just gonna keep it short. Hair gel left. What? Oh. That's weird. Hair gel right. Let's do that. Let's just stick up in front. That looks that looks good. That's how I do my hair. Spike. Oh, that's a spike. I'm not gonna do the spike there. I'm gonna take the gel down a bit too. Just keep it up a little bit. Hair mohawk. Oh gosh, this character customization in this game is so bad. It just raises his head up. It's not a mohawk. I don't know what I expected with this game. Oh, man, messy hair. There we go. That's pretty. That's that's more like a spike. Messy forward. Yeah, sure. Let's stick it forward. Left bang length. Oh, yeah. Make his bangs as long as possible. I don't know. Looks weird. Wavy. Yep. Asymmetrical. No. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Two different colors. Purple and blue. The green. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Eye color. I'm gonna go with green. Glasses. And no, I'm not gonna do that. Old, oh, he gets some wrinkles on there. Facial hair. Oh, that's some nice facial hair. Oh, what do I do? Let's go with, I'm gonna go with his beard. Stubble, yep, sure. Neck beard, yes. A square coming out of his neck. It's literally like it's not attached to his chin. It's just coming straight out of his neck. Oh, look at that. That's the... That looks so bad. It's like a... a or it's like an, a tie. It's coming out of his neck. Like, I don't know. I mean, I know neck... It's called a neck beard, but generally I think it, it's the bottom of your chin. Not just straight out of your neck, just your neck. I don't know. I don't care, I'm gonna keep it though. It looks weird. Okay, what shirt type are we gonna get? Ooh, that's, yep. It's a few different, oh, this shirt's kinda, I don't, are those pockets? Oh man. It's like a gun holster type thing? I'm gonna go with that, I guess. Color, what color are we gonna go for? I don't know, I can't, I can't do the neck beard, I don't like it. I mean, not that the character looks good at all, anyway, but... Oh, gosh. What is... White. Purple, under... 
your shirt. Gloves, yeah. Shirt. Let's do some gloves. What do we got here? Uh, black gloves, huh? I got your gloves. Shoes color. Oh, okay. Let's do white pants or shorts. Oh, <laughs> those are some shorts. Dang. Those are some good looking. Those are some tight freaking shorts. They're tight pants, too. I'm gonna go with pants. Half pants. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, that looks so bad. Pant leg. Belt. Yes. No. Yes. Belt color only. Yeah, sure. Black. Pants. Color. I'm gonna go with. So this is class, I'm guessing. Okay, Guardian, it looks like everybody. So there's class, and then every class has an extreme, which is like, I'm guessing, like a limit break if I had to compare it to Final Fantasy or an RPG, I don't know. Um, Extreme, Pyromancy, Omni Jones, Summoner, Summon Golem, Symbiote Cloud, Focus, Total Control, Focus on Summoning Golems, Extreme is Heavy Stun, Useful for Golems, Glass Cannon, Path to Hell, <clears throat> Not for Beginners, Not for Anyone, This Game Isn't for Anyone, Guardian, has a focus on the defensive end game and extreme focus on more HP. High starting stats focus on combo gain at end game and with extreme. Stealth oriented, healing focused, fire class, extreme is powerful, unlimited use. Unlimited range fire attack. I don't know how good a pyromancy, I think the element of fire in this game is pretty good. Uh, but I don't, because obviously there's one class just for fire. But I think I might just find somebody that knows that. Um, engineer, you know what? Uh, drone specialist. Oh gosh, what should I do? I'm just gonna go with vigilante. I might regret it, but oh, prawn, you're back. How did things go in Newfoundland? Great! The cult's influence has been completely dismantled there. It went slowly, but the cult no longer has any hold there. I don't want to say it went great. I don't even know. This is, I'm guessing that's a reference to the first game. Uh, Skylight Free Range 1. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if there actually is a first one. I don't know. I really don't. I've never played it. Never even heard of it. I didn't even know what this game was until yesterday. Wonderful. It gives me a lot of hope that we can do the same here in Nova Scotia. Ooh. Craig, so this is our leader, huh? Okay, one thing I will have to say to <laughs> zero people watching the broadcast. This game, every element of this game, the music, the artwork, the programming, everything was done by one guy. So that's impressive. This game kind of looks like a school project but 
I mean, the man released this entire project. I've heard it's a complete game. It's, as far as I know, this is a complete game. I'm sure it's kind of buggy, but it's he released this full game for PS4 and PS Vita. That's impressive. I mean, even I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how Sony decides on what they're going to release or if you just submit it and you automatically get it released i don't think it works like that but i don't know but they saw this it went through some sort of quality control and sony said yeah this game's coming out for ps4 that's what's happening i don't know great since the leader huh oh yes since you've been gone over a year we've managed to recruit two more members Craig Waller, pleasure. Miranda Ireland, it's good to finally meet ya. She's, a, she's not wearing much. Where's Brian? I don't know who Brian is. It looks like we're missing a few people. Where's Brian? Brian's methods have gotten too extreme. Too over the top, Brian's a loose cannon. He wanted to bomb a convention center. That was owned by people who financially backed the cult of the symbiote. Rory chased him off, so he's a terrorist. Somebody like that is no better than the Sianduan. Our group does not let innocents get caught up in our fights as collateral. I don't think Prawn was around when the Sianduan. I know I'm butchering it. There's, I, I'm probably butchering the names of a lot of things in this, but whatever. I don't think Prowler is around with the San Duane formed, Rory. The San Duane are extremists who oppose the cult symbiote regulations by using skylight symbiotes to create humanoid monsters, which the cult forbids. Not, not that those cult dipshits follow their own rules. They make humanoid monsters and parade them around proudly, and their supporters cheer them on. I don't care what anyone says, the cult is far worse than the Sianduin would ever be. Well, whatever opinions we have of the organizations, our current focus needs to stay on the Sianduin. That's right. As usual, we're planned our next mission for us. Many prominent Sianduin members have been posting online how they're targeting a cult-heavy university called the Bastion of Knowledge. We might be against the cult, but we can't let the Sianduin harm any innocents, regardless of their affiliation. Otherwise, our group is no better than the cult. Are you ready? We're going to be going headlong into the action. Uh, I'm always ready. Always. I don't know if I'm always ready, actually. I don't know. Never played the first one. <clears throat> that penmanship. And so, this is when Calvin Traven expanded the cult's realm of influence beyond Prince Edward Island. New Brunswick did not take kindly to the cult's kind and guiding hand either, and province erupted in the Civil War. Why is this? <clears throat> <clears throat> Once again, I apologize for being sick, but, well, you gotta deal with it. Uh, why was this? Because the cult of the symbiote had the term cult attached to it, and it scared people into into infighting and bloodshed. I know it's we're going progressing pretty slow because I'm reading everything, but I feel it should be appropriate just so everybody everybody reads at different speeds. I just want everybody to catch everything. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't think it's important. I don't. I don't think the story is important. Uh, Mr. Traven did not want the term cult attached to his symbiote regulators, but the term has been so overused it gained slanderous roots in Canadian society. This is why we have classes on cult history despite its presence lasting less than two decades, to clear up foul misconceptions such as this. All I heard was blah blah blah, a bunch of idiots doing idiot things and being idiots. Wow, that's really mature. BJ, seriously, like this will ever have anything to do with us. Hey, isn't that a isn't that girl a movie star? Really? She is. I think so, but her mom is, for sure. 
no way. A movie star in our class? Banging. Oh, that's some good, some good, uh, some good story here. Damn, she looked at me. The movie star girl noticed me. Senpai. Notice me, senpai. That's not her dip fuck. Dip fuck. Jesus. Oh, thanks, Liquid Solid Vapor. It's a pleasure. I'm glad that you're here. That's not her dip fuck. That's her friend. She only looked at you because you were too damn loud. Yeah, the loud is the new sexy. How's that for in your face? Don't worry about them, Janie. This happens all the time. Yeah, but they're still idiots. Oh, he fucking died, Jesus. Ha ha ha, look at all these douchebags getting indoctrinated and receiving their marching orders from the cult. What's happening? Oh, that guy's got a cool neck beard. Big black neck beard. The sand Duane does not tolerate anyone who is affiliated with those who would suppress the use of the skylight symbiotes. These guys are having seizures over there. We will put an end to all of all of you who would dare trample our freedoms. Oh jeez. I just I just shot him in the head. Who the fuck is this? Some cult dick. Get him. I'm killing people. Oh my god. What the what the fuck is going on? There's a this game's this game was rated mature. I wasn't uh I don't know why I was I wasn't expecting like the the graphic <laughs> I don't, for some reason I associated terrible graphics without, without cursing, like I didn't, I don't know, but there's a, this game shouldn't have been made, I'm going to find this guy, this game was made, liquid solid vapor, it was made by one guy, it's kind of impressive, gah, who are you, wait, I know who he is, he's the one who's fighting off those Siani whatevers, right? Deep in the basement of his grandparents. Yeah, he made it though, and I I bought it. He made <laughs> this game was fifteen dollars. I spent fifteen dollars on this. Yeah. So he <laughs> the the production. His mother and father double suicided. Oh, well, 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 he's rolling in the money now. The production value. Of this game is a hot pocket, is my, is what I'm guessing. You know, the production value is a hot pocket. Because of their failure offspring, yep. Well, to be honest, he released the game and he's got someone playing it, so. I mean, he's released a, a hot pocket. That was the production value of this game. He released, this is a full release, well, a PSN indie whole indie release on the PSN store. That That's a lot more than most people can say. Uh, uh, that's me. Take these weapons. You'll need them. Stick by me. You'll be needing these weapons to protect me. Yeah, stick by me. I, I don't really know how to fight, but I don't want to be caught unarmed by those guys. Thank you for your help. Combat basics. When enemy sees you, battle begin. A character you control can attack with the cross buttons and their yellow speed counter bar is full. When their yellow speed bar counter is full. Uh, switch to the other characters in L1 and other targets with the R1. Oh gosh. Because he had a hot pocket and then made this game in the same sitting. He made... <laughs> he made... He ate a hot pocket. While he was eating the hot pocket... <laughs> he created this game, the entire game. Okay. Alright. The green defend bar underneath the yellow speed bar begins charging when the speed bar, when the speed counter is full, and the character is not moving or acting. The higher it is, the more damage they'll deal. Alright, so it's like an active time battle. Now would be a good time to save your game by pressing the circle button to access the field menu and selecting data, followed by a save. You can choose a save slot to save your game to. Saving cannot be done when in combat, when attacking, or moving to attack. Okay, so I'm not in combat yet. I got two pistols. Okay, we'll see how these characters work out. Let's data and save. Okay, I'm out of the game menu because I'm saving. Okay, I'm back. Okay, um. 
God Hot Pocket, okay. God Hot Pocket, because he couldn't afford a microwave, let, <laughs> let alone his utilities. Yeah, probably not. Okay, um... So I can't click on friends, I just want to see what class is these other... AI? Okay. I, I can set the AI, I'm not... Attack, Pistol Knuckles... Attack, Jupiter, and combat. What's a Jupiter? Summon, okay, this is a summoner. She's a summoner. I don't know, it's got... It's probably gonna... I have $10,000! I have ten thousand dollars. I don't know. Okay, so two pistols. That's what I have. Base ammo twenty. So there's ammo in this game. That kind of sucks. I mean, I guess I don't want to say it makes it more realistic. Cause this game looks like butt. Uh, knuckles, which example I got. Zippy, Combat Knife, Jupiter, Rapid Fire Weapon, Fires Lightning Bolts that deal lightning damage to an enemy. Combat Knife. I'm gonna equip, I'm gonna equip Jupiter. That sounds a lot better than Combat Knife. Two Sledgehammers. I can dual wield Sledgehammers. That's insane. She is freaking ripped. I'm gonna go, but for, for now I'm gonna stick with all ranged weapons. Uh, don't want to get too close and not know what to, uh... That's the Jupiter? That's the dumbest? That looks like a vacuum cleaner. No, it looks like a paddle. Oh my gosh, this... The camera in this game... Oh my gosh, this game is so bad. Okay. Uh, it's... I'm serious, I apologize. It's very hard to control the camera in this game. Okay, let's go. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so combat started then? Okay. <laughs> He's shooting her with the Jupiter! Okay, well, she's dead. She disappeared. Okay, this guy's gonna die. Neckbeard's going next. Oh, I oh, killed him. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, the guy holding the Jupiter almost died. He was taking the damage. Okay, I'm gonna save again. That was really weird. I don't get, like, did I get... I don't understand. Like, is there experience? There's no, like, post-combat. Okay, so I got 30 competency experience. But my competency level is zero. Let me check. I just gotta check out comments. Learn competencies. Do you spend competency points? Or do you... So you need competency points, which I'm guessing are based on your competency level. Probably a level per point. I don't know. I'm assuming. Um... So, is there items in this game? I don't understand, like, how I would... I don't know. So, weapons, I don't know how to heal him. Oh, he's gonna die, probably. Stealth, enemies see in a semi-circle. A short distance in front of themselves, that's pretty standard. Number of enemies also follow patrol routes. Sneaking up behind them and getting that first hit will grant uh, a preemptive attack, giving your party an advantage. Zippy's combat knife, originally his up button, grants massive damage bonuses if the target is attacked from behind and not in battle, so stealth bonus. One of the enemies on this map has a shield equipped, reducing the amount of damage they receive from frontal attacks. The assault rifle in Zippy's Jupiter, originally his left button, can utilize a prolonged rapid fire by holding down the cross button. This drains ammo very quickly, but it's quite powerful for a single action, especially with a full defend bar. Hold on a sec, I gotta save this, uh... I'm just gonna save the video clip real quick. Alright. Oh gosh, this game's so bad. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to save that a lot, because look at... Oh, look at him. That's how I run. I run the same way. I do this. So that person with the shield's right there. Oh! 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 I killed them all. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the person to shoot. How do I? Can I even back attack? I don't know. I'm gonna shoot. Okay. So that is kind of cool that in stealth you can get an action with that. Okay, so he's taking shot. Okay, that was not difficult. I, nobody got hit. Thirty dollars, ten experience. Okay, I didn't see that before. Uh, so competency experience. Maybe you allocate the competency levels at the end. Rory, we're on the north side. Lucy and Dwayne have symbiote monsters running amok here. Indestructibles are symbiote monsters that have high HP, high physical defense, and the ability to slowly heal their HP over time. They also deal high damage and can knock their targets back to an additional damage if they collide with another person or wall. Power of indestructibles, as well as certain other symbiote, symbiote monsters, have a weakness to fire. Ooh, I should have been a pyro. I don't... Did anybody in my... I know she's a summoner. I don't know if she had fire, though. But, oh, yeah, okay, it says I was... I wasn't reading. Uh, Lucian Red-Haired Woman has the fire shot competency on her right button, as well as the flamethrower on her left button. If you're planning to use a flamethrower in battle, it would be best to switch to it before initiating combat. Okay. Lucia, flamethrower, I'm gonna equip it, I know I can probably equip it. Okay, so mods. I'm gonna attack plus two for five hundred dollars. Okay, you don't you don't even have to go to a shop, that's actually kinda cool. Uh, nothing about this game is cool. Miranda, she has a rifle and a shield. I'm gonna I'm gonna just give everybody an attack level up. The mod slots. Can you have more? Can have more than one mod slot? Physical defense plus two percent. This is this is a what? This is individual weapon mods. Yeah, phys so I guess there's no armor because if you're upgrading physical defense on your rifle, I don't know. Move plus one. Reaction stun. Move. Okay, I'm gonna just do physical defense. Pretty standard. Two pistols and a Colt blade. If an attack reduces the enemy's HP to 5% of their maximum HP, their current HP becomes zero. So if an attack reduces the enemy's HP to 5% of their max, they die. Which they'd probably die anyway within one hit if they were that low. So I don't know. I don't think that matters. I'm gonna increase the attack on these pistols. Oops. I don't even know if I should be spending my money on this. I don't know how hard money is. I know I started with 10,000, so I'm just gonna use some of it. Okay. I'm gonna save the game. Du -du 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 -du. I was just saved before modding my stuff, but I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we are ready. Oh, jeez. Holy, that's terrifying for being a cheesy graphics. Huge thing. Indestructible. He's gonna wreck one of us, I know he is. Nope. <laughs> wow, that definitely wasn't indestructible. Okay, let's go. Lifeless. Lifeless are living bombs that detonate when in range, and their speed counter is full to do great damage to the area around them. They do, however, have low HP. Take three times physical damage and the standard symbiote monster ten times fire damage. They're very slow, but when they get their turn, watch out. Okay, I'm guessing that these are bombs and these lifeless are like bombs that just fly. Basically, as we were saying, it will wreck you. Okay, I'm gonna try to shoot one of them out of combat. Okay, I got one. Okay. So, make sure I'm gonna kill this one. Okay, we got him. She got the other one, I'm guessing. So, let's see if this. Talk bad about Mr. God. Mr. Travern, what should I do? Mr. Travern represents the cult of the symbiote. The cult of the symbiote represents unity. Any slander against him is a slander against unity. Don't be afraid to uh, report dissenters. 
I'm not gonna read all these signs. Phantoms! Phantoms are powerful and what kind of building is this? Phantoms are powerful enemies that, unlike other symbiote monsters, have resistance to fire attacks. They have high HP, attack, movement speed, speed counter gains, and triple sight range, as well as utilizing unarmed attacks, which gain power with each attack. Phantoms are pretty rough. Phantoms do have one weakness, which is that they are controlled by a manipulator, and any manipulators will be named as such when targeted. Okay, so manipulators like the Puppet Master or the Phantom Master, rather. The Phantom is defeated, so just go straight for the Manipulator. As Phantoms can do large damage, it would be a good idea to use Miranda to heal when, where possible when using the heal competency originally had right there. Alright. So... That Phantom in front. The Phantom's already locked on, going for one of us. Okay. Dude, the Phantom did, what, didn't have a chance to attack, that is good. She put away, automatically put away her flamethrower though. I did not want her to do that, but whatever. I guess if her AI decided it was a, I'm sorry, I keep saving, but I guess if her AI decided that the knife would be better against the Phantom, I don't know. Okay. Students and faculty of the Bastion of Knowledge, the cult of the symbiote have arrived to put an end to this attack. Anyone without identification and anyone who has not surrendered will be gunned down. We expect full cooperation. Ah, great. The cult is here, too. As if this situation wasn't chaotic enough. St. Dreams! St. Dreams! <laughs> St. Dreams are a symbiote monster used exclusively by the cult of the symbiote. While they look like ordinary humans, they have much higher HP and every hit against them deals fire damage to a small area around them to ally and enemy, so all long range weapons. Rapid fire attacks on them will cause rapid fire fire counters from them. No is equipped with a glacier weapon. Glaciers are able to take away the competencies of certain symbiote monsters with one shot, though it is a rapid fire weapon. It not only takes away the St. Dream's fire counter, but it also removes an indestructible's knockback and physical defense and a phantom's elemental defense. Quick and move competencies. So I always <clears throat> it's probably a good idea to have a glacier equipped at least on one guy at all times. The commands and choices of your allies making combat can be changed by pressing the circle button. Yeah, I saw the ally AI. Um, in particular, you can change Noah's AI to target any St. Dreams and play with his glacier. Noah will fire a quick burst to avoid expending too much ammo for the purpose of removing a St. Dreams harmful fire counter. Alright, let's quickly see. Craig, Kyra, and Noah. Okay, so Craig has a shotgun or a hover staff. Team based melee weapon. So I'm gonna keep a shotgun. Kyra, Knuckles, I'm gonna equip your shotgun just because these guys have that. So he has his glacier, that's what that vacuum cleaner is holding this. Okay, okay, now I'm gonna mod these. Attack. You can't go wrong with attack. I'm guessing that's a pretty safe bet for a mod. It's just getting the standard attack. I don't want to spend too much money. Like I said, I have no idea how hard money is to come across later in the game, but I started with a lot. Okay. God, the camera's so bad in this game. Alright, let's try to shoot him before I get in range. Nope. Yep, they're all aiming at me. <laughs> do we all shoot one or do it? Okay, is that a drone? Okay, one's dead. Okay, I'm getting. I'm not taking too much damage. Yeah, his attack speed's faster. She needs to get away from being so close to him. And the fire damage is that. I don't know what happens. Are those drones? Look at those little face. So that's an attack drone, I'm guessing like an ammo drone and a, a happy. Is that a healing drone or something? I don't I honestly don't know. 
Alright. Coheres. Coheres are cult exclusive symbiote monsters with high defense. While not overly powerful on their own, they can merge with other coheres, absorbing their HP and attack with a bonus and growing bigger the more coheres absorbed. Glaciers can take away a coheres ability to merge or be merged with other coheres and is a good option where possible. Noah. So Noah's the one creating the drones. He's an engineer. Uh, damage, healing, and ammo. Yes, that's what it was. They are best created before combat as they can take up a turn to create battle. Press what was originally his right button for the assault drone or press the triangle button to access turn-based menu and select his defense and ammo drones. His other drones can be assigned the directional buttons. Okay, so... L1, L1. Okay, so 111, does that mean I can summon one or do I have one left? I don't know. I'm gonna get one of each. Get ready for this battle. Okay, go here. Summoning golems. Golems are high defense melee summons and they're invaluable for adding in extra damage and to run interference to take hits for characters. Erica can summon a golem by pressing what was originally her left button to place a symbiote cloud and what was originally her right button to summon a golem from it. Provided no drone, golem, or enemy at the center. There's no go golem or enemy at the center of the cloud. It's best done before combat. Summoning limits. There are summoning limits to the number of drones golems that can be summoned, and up to six can be in the field at once. Other limits include eight for the symbiote clouds, and 64 for traps. 64 barrels in C4. If you want to, if you want more weapons or different weapons, press the circle button to go to the field menu and go to weapon section. Select an empty space and select shop. Any of the 20 weapon types can be bought when not in combat or a cutscene. And mods can be added to power up to, for, to uh, power up weapons further. I do that. Utilize some of the mods already. Final room. Utilize what you have learned from the past battles to reach the door at the end of the hall. If there's anything that you need to know more about, the reference in the field menu. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm gonna say those lifeless guys are the walking bombs that we have found out. One second. A quick save. I'm gonna save a new file. Okay, I'm gonna summon a golem outside of battle, really quick. Weapons, I'm gonna add a uh, attack mod to, I don't even know if I'm gonna be using the pistols much after this, but we'll see. Adding an attack mod to each one of the pistols for Prawn, main character Prawn, Jupiter mod, attack mod, and Erica. She can do a wield sledgehammers, which is always just nuts. Uh, assault rifle attack. All right, let's do this. Lifeless. Yeah, I shot one. Got one out of battle. I should have summoned the golem. I completely forgot, but she can. There we go. Okay, switch to Erica. Summon a golem. So a symbiote cloud first, and then golem. Is that how it worked? Oh, look at that. That's a golem right there. <laughs> That's a golem. Let's go. <sighs> An indestructible. Shoot. Get him, golem. Get him! Oh, the golem's taken! Ooh. Get him, golem. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
Look at that running. And a phantom. Oh yeah, he targets from far away. He's already on me. Don't, 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 don't. Ugh. Got it. Golem. Look at the golem run. That is what I gotta say. This game... I wouldn't say this game's a 10 out of 10. I wouldn't even give it a 3 out of 10. But this running animation is about as good as it gets. Doesn't get much better than that. I know it's a sweet run. Thank God we made it. There is no God. Tony, BJ, Sandwing, kill them. Jesus. That was the most violent thing I've ever seen. No wonder the scared very mature. He's freaked out. No! Don't go after them. We have to get out of here. Yeah, you don't want to get shot in the head. Those guys are one-shotted. What a disaster. The cult seemed to do as much damage as the Sandween. What you expect from the cult. They're the most unfeeling fuckheads there are. If you aren't part of them, there's no regard for human life. From what I had seen with my own eyes, and the security footage Noah had managed to hack after we left, there were at least three dozen innocents killed by both the cult and the Sandween. All of the, all of the media outlets, though, are saying that the only casualties in the conflict were the Sandween. Da -da -da. Whatever you guys are part of, I want in too. Zippy wants in. Are you serious? We just barely escaped with our lives. This isn't playtime, kid. We're in this for the long haul. You're going to get yourself hurt if you get involved. That will make a difference. My friends were involved in this and they were both killed by the cult. Zippy lost everybody. No casualties. It's amazing I've been playing... <laughs> I've been playing this game for 45 minutes. That's probably 44 minutes longer than anyone's ever played this game. No casualties outside those Siani dudes. He's calling them Siani dudes. They just killed every one of his friends. What a fucking joke. I never paid attention to any of the cult stuff or the stuff against them. But this, no. I'm not going to ignore it now. I want in. You guys are serious, whoever you are. I should be, they're Canadian, I keep forgetting. You guys are serious, eh? Whoever you are, eh? You want to be kept secret, eh? And I'll make sure you stay that way, eh? Whether you let me in or not, eh? What about you, eh? Are you going to be involved too, eh? I'm not going to keep doing that. Yeah, my mom always spoke so highly of the cult. I don't know if I can ignore what I saw today either can't just let you in based on a disagreement with your mom. No, I'm in. For sure. Rory, da da da, it looks like a face. Alright. We'll need to know your names. Background checks are a big part of getting in. Da da da, face. Aldorf Zipmore the third. No, I mean your real name. That is my real name. Seriously? I'm Alt. Why does he go by Zippy? I'd go by Eldor. Uh, seriously. Christ. People name their kids anything these days. What's your dad's name? Eldor Sipmore II. Well, according to our records, he is named Eldor Sipmore III. Jeez, Eldor, what a name. Well, you could call me Zippy. That's what my friends called me. What friends? Screw that, I'll call you Junior. You don't have friends, they're all dead. I'm just, I'm gonna be different. Stand out. Yeah. You're a real font of originality. And the girl's name is Erica Blue. No way. Catherine Blue's daughter, a movie star's daughter? This could be a problem. Your fame could draw greater attention towards us. We have enough problems with Noah being the C T CEO of Green Tech, whose building we use for cover. If a CEO and a movie star's daughter are seen together frequently in public, it could bring too much attention to us. I doubt, sh I doubt she'd be recognized that easily. Craig's the biggest pop culture junkie in Canada, and he didn't even recognize her. Alright then. 
If this is what you both if this is what you both really want, I'll say this once and only once. Aldorf, Erica, welcome to the Gaktuin. The Gaktuin, yes. We will not mention our name in this room or in public. What they just did. Or at least as little as possible. There could be bugs. There could be spies. And the less our group's name is mentioned, the less it will come under investigation by the cult. We don't use the G word around it. We don't use the G word around these parts. Our group just does what it can to dismantle the cult's hold on the provinces. The provinces of Canada. The cult might be presented as a skylight symbiote regulator, but they have control over more than just symbiote. Man, there is so much lore in this game that I don't understand because I didn't play Skylight Free Range 1. I don't know. I'm going to just try to... I'm going to have a try. I'm trying. That's all I can do. This music is driving me nuts, though. I don't know if you've noticed. It's the same looping... I'm pretty sure it's like the same looping track. I'm guessing this is the only song in the game. I don't know. I think because we can't this movie. I don't know. Uh, at times we may have to face down a San Duane who opposes the cult. Their methods attempt to turn the cult into martyrs. Though, so we sometimes have to help the cult by stopping the San Duane. Gok Duane, San Duane, it all sounds the same because it's all Duane. That's because they stole our name. Also, remember, don't use the G word. How can they steal our name when nobody knows we exist? Bite me. We also have jamming programs on our workstation. Noah works with Skylight, Symbiote, and Competency Technology since it was legalized for government contracts five years ago. While Green Tech did not have it as a federal contract, the jamming programs created by Noah are used by us and will freeze video cameras on their most recent frame. It has a wide enough radius to keep our group secret in nearly any situation, and it has let us exist as long as we have. We'll issue you with workstations containing the program. We got Dama right here. Dama, you want an appearance? There you go. Alright. How do we know what our next mission is? I scour the internet for most of our intelligence on the cults. I also used to be a sentinel, and I fought in the Civil War uh, in Manitoba in the late 2030s. What's up, Liquid Solid Vapor? Why, Jesus? I have some experience with military missions, so I'm in charge of that. So you're the leader of the G, our group. Y'all, you almost said the, the word that should not be uttered. No, Prawn and Noah are the group's leaders and founders. Prawn. Right behind you, buddy. Blue hair. Blue and green hair. Them and Brian. This is making... I know, dude. This, I'm getting motion sickness, players. I'm getting motion sickness and when there's barely any motion. I don't, I don't know. This game makes me sick, too. But I'm playing it. I'm going to be... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to beat this game. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if anybody's ever done it, but I'm going to try. And if it's anything like how long it's these cutscenes are going on, it's probably going to be a long game. Brian Kellen, the founder of the group, he was forced out trying, uh, forced out for trying to bomb a convention center filled with cult members who were innocent. Look at his bricks, other trophies. Yes, there's a full trophy list, including the platinum. Uh, I don't think anybody, nobody's ever gotten the platinum for this game, as far as I know, and I don't think anybody's gotten more than five trophies. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's possible. I don't know. I have no idea. It's to play this game that long. I don't know. So that guy's toast. No. I thought we escaped. He's still out there somewhere. And he could mean trouble for us. I see. We also have Kyra Santiago. She's a part of the cult. Or at least her parents are. Whoa. Hey. You let cult members into our group? That sounds so... Believe me. I hate those cult fucks more than anyone. My parents disowned my brother because he spoke out against the cult openly. The cult gave my parents an ultimatum. I would literally give 20 bucks to delete this game and never play it again. No. Not yet. I'll take that up on you when I'm done with it. 
This game is I, it's not healthy. This is <laughs> playing this game isn't healthy. I don't think it's a healthy thing to do. I would never do anything that could damage our group. We use my cult connections to gain information that Rory cannot otherwise find through the internet. And that's that. Unless there are any questions, I uh I have one. Before we do anything more, can I visit my parents and let them know I'm alright? I also need to do this to confirm that the group is really the best way to go. Rory, dot to face. I suppose we could do that. Where do your parents live? Lunenburg. Lunenburg. Alright, we'll make a quick stop at Lunenburg. I don't know if that's a real place. Is that a real place in Canada? I don't know. Uh, then we'll plan our next mission. Sounds like... Sounds like it's not healthy. I imagine, as a random audience member, that your voice was <laughs> fine until you started dealing with this cold game. But damn, seriously, that soundtrack... Ah, it's crazy, man. This is, uh... Uh, I believe the soundtrack, if I'm not mistaken, the soundtrack in this game was done by Led Zeppelin. Alright, quick stop, Lindenberg. Yep, let's do it. Quest added, confirmation! Visit Zippy's parents in Lindenberg. Quest completed, Captain. Thousand experience, complete the prologue quest, gain your experience, defeating, uh, gain your experience, defeating enemies, completing more quests will earn you more experience. Every thousand experience gives you one competency point. Competency points do not have to be used right away, so try and experiment with various things before applying any points. Green lamp post will restore your HP ammo and competency uses of your entire party, and it will let you change party members and create an autosave. So, yeah, I got a trophy. Okay, so, uh, alright, if... They restore competency use. Does that mean I have to respec every time I touch a green lamppost? I don't know. Prawn, the vigilante. Craig, the tank. Uh, yeah, I'll have the tank. Um, Rory, the destroyer. Nope. The bruiser. No, I'm gonna get... The golem mancer. The golem seemed pretty powerful. And Lucia had the flamethrower, if I'm not mistaken. So I think that's a pretty, that seems like a pretty, I would describe the gameplay as, uh, it's very visceral. I would, I would describe it as visceral. It's a very visceral gameplay. Okay, this is my party, and I am now, god, the, the worst enemy in this game is the camera. It's so bad. I can't explain how bad the camera is. It's so touchy, and it's just... I've never experienced such a bad camera in a game. I'm serious. And I've played some games with some bad camera. Okay, I am saving the game, and I am... not gonna play anymore today, because... you can only play so much, and I've almost been playing for an hour. And I'm pretty sure an hour is just too much. An hour is too much for one day. Dama, do you want me to keep playing? No, I don't think so. I don't think he does. So that's it. Thank you for watching. This has been this has been uh, Skylight Free Range 2 Gokjween Guacamole. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't even know what to say about this game. It's, nah, it's awful, but I'm going to keep playing it. I want to beat this game. I don't know why I want to be. I want to be the first person that's beaten this game. I don't know if anybody's ever beaten it. I don't know. I keep going on. I'll see you next time. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourselves.